Hey, what is up guys? And today I'm gonna be doing my first video with voice, not with text. Because I noticed that I, I have the worst grammar ever. So now I'm gonna do videos with voice. Excuse me that I have really bad voice, but you know, you gotta deal with it. So in this job I'm gonna show you how to uh, chop samples with slice X. Um, so I'm gonna import my slice six right there. So say I wanna, I wanna. Actually, I'm gonna take a loop. This little uh, drum loop. Drag the drum loop into this little, little section. So I'm gonna zoom out, zoom in. I mean, so like that. Notice how if you import the loop into Slicex, it makes like millions of markers. And also, if you go to the piano roll, it'll make markers. So, what do the markers do? Well, the markers are actually different parts of the sample. So, let's say this part, mark one, will be the kick. The marker two will be the will be the hi hat. Mocker 3 will be the clap. You know? And same in the piano roll. You see? So, let's say I only want the kick from the whole sample. So, what do I do? I can just go to the piano roll. As we know that Mocker 1 is the kick, I can just do this basic house kick. Loop. So like there, or I can delete this. Control left click on the first marker, which is the kick. Just like that, and just go to this little uh, button, which is drag copy sample selection. But I'm just gonna take it, drag it, so like that, to the step sequencer, and now you have your kick. Just like that. So let's say I want to clap. So I'm just gonna go to another sample. Seems really nice. So I'm just gonna take this sample, drag it into SliceX, again zoom out, and find the clap. So the clap is like Marco 4. Um, and again, I'm gonna go drag this thing, and I have the clap, and again, it's gonna create this little piano roll thing, but we don't want that for now, and I'm just gonna go like this, <clears throat> so let's see, let's add a little snare, <coughs> um, Again, control left click, drag, and just like that. So I think you get the point over here. So you might be you may you may only think that you can use this on say like drum loops or something. You can actually use it on melody loops too. So let's see. Say I want this one. So again, go to slice X, just drag, put it, and it's gonna make different mini markers again. So you can just use, you can play the markers on your keyboard or on your MIDI controller. Like just like this. And you can just, you know, go to the piano roll like this, and you, you can make a little melody. See, I don't know how to actually make this good, but
know. So I can use melody, melody samples too. So, and just like that. So I, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, leave a comment if you like uh, tutorials with voice or with text. I personally prefer a voice because it's much easier to edit the videos and it takes just faster. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Peace.